Immediately after joining the discord and sending no more than like 4 texts in the general chat, my DMs start getting flooded with desperate guys DMing me. I mean, my fake account is straight up getting more compliments in a matter of 2 minutes than I've ever received in my whole 19 years of being on this earth. Have you ever taken an embarrassing L? Like I'm talking so embarrassing to the point where you already know you're taking it to the grave. Like not a single soul is hearing about it. I mean, believe it or not, there's a lot of criminals who count on this exact mentality. I mean, how do you think scammers get away with so much? They're literally banking on you feeling so embarrassed after they scammed you that you just take the L and move on. Attention, all Fortnite gamers. Wait, John that's Wayne me? Is in great danger and he needs your help. What? To wipe out the squads in the no way. towers. To help him, all he needs is your credit card. Bro, what? Yo, John Wick, I got you, bro. Let me just go get my credit card. A few moments later. Look, I hate to be that guy, bro, but your story makes no sense. Like, why would you want to be homeless by choice? Bro, how did you lose your money? Just be real. Um... With that being said, though, there is one L that if I ever took, I'd never tell a soul. And that L is being catfished. Now, fortunate enough for me, I've never been catfished before, but instead, I did the catfishing. And you know, it was supposed to be like a fun little troll, but no, it went completely wrong. So it all started one boring winter, and you know during winter, everyone's usually cooped up inside, cause you got me messed up if you think I'm going out in the snow, just to have my tennis balls turn into golf balls. If you know, you know. I mean, do you guys not see the complexion of my skin, bruh? The cold is not my natural habitat. Regardless though, the point is, I was stuck inside with nothing to do so let me ask you what's the most obvious thing to do to cure your boredom i don't know play a video game or something mm, nah i was thinking more join a bunch of furry discords and catfish people bro what the actual fuck? but yeah me and my friends decided it would be pretty hilarious to try and be catfish and what better place to catfish people than discord itself now if you've never catfished before there's some basic things you got to be able to do in order to complete a successful catfish on discord so here let me lay them out for you one you need to change up your whole discord account i'm talking about your profile and bio and picture everything you got to make it seem like you're a new person number two you can't make it obvious you're catfish you gotta act normal and you can throw out some bait but just don't do it too often you gotta be low-key with it and three you gotta have a backup plan in case you get caught trust me this step is vital and is important to the story later on now see i try to follow all these steps but as usual something always goes wrong but anyways with our accounts ready to go we join up on some servers and nothing could prepare us for what was about to happen immediately after joining the discord and sending no more than like four texts in the general chat my dms start getting flooded with desperate guys dming me i mean my fake account is straight up getting more compliments in a matter of two minutes than i've ever received in my whole 19 years of being on this earth now i start engaging in these dms and slowly starting to troll just to see how desperate these guys were and when i tell you these guys were down horrendous Bro, these guys were down horrendous. I mean, believe it or not, a majority of these guys did not care what curveball I threw at them. They would still engage in a convo and full on simp. Like, I'd even start insulting them and they just didn't care. Man, what's up with your PFP, bro? You're mad ugly. You look like a lopsided lollipop with hairs all over it. I mean, I can change it if you like. Like, I'd do anything for you. Man, shut your bubblegum crimson chin looking pot belly ass up. Yes, queen, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it was so weird, bro. It was like I was trying to troll them, but they just throw a reverse Uno card in my face, bro. It was disgusting. And I'm not gonna lie, I was finding all this pretty weird, but interesting. Like, is this what it feels like to be a girl with hella people in your DMs? But yeah, in terms of catfishing, it was actually going pretty good until I got a certain message. I noticed that someone sent me a photo, and now I don't know what I was thinking at the time, but I just assumed someone sent me a meme or like their face or something, but no. I open up the image, and on my computer screen is a full-on image of a f hot dog, bro. Bro, as soon as it pops up, I'm on my screen looking like speed destroying his computer, bro. I'm trying to close this tab as fast as I can. And once Discord was finally closed, I sat there in silence. Bro. I was traumatized. Now, the next day, I opened up Discord, kind of forgetting about everything that I did yesterday. And bro, tell me why I still have like 10 more messages and at least three of them containing hot dogs. And do you guys remember rule number three? And three, you gotta have a backup plan in case you get caught. Trust me, this step is vital and is important to the story later on. Yeah, I was starting to get heat in the Discord servers because they were catching on. Like, I was straight up getting moderators interrogating me. Yeah, we have reasons to suspect that you're a catfish. So to verify yourself, you're gonna have to send in some feet pictures. You'll never take me in a lot. Wait, what? 
Nah, y'all are weird. Feet pictures? Bro, you can't even use that to verify if I'm real. That doesn't even show my face. Nah, y'all are weird. But yeah, I don't know what these Discord dudes be doing on their free time, but the FBI need to hire them because somehow they were able to practically make a whole file case on why I was a catfish. Like straight up call it a Discord Rico charge. But uh, yeah, in conclusion, overnight I got banned from like five servers. And you know what the worst part was? I still had weird people in my DMs. Lesson learned, next time I'll just stick to video games when I'm bored. And to be honest, there was a lot more interesting things that happened that night, but I can't really tell them on YouTube. So maybe if I ever do live streaming, like I'll tell them on there one day. But uh, yeah, moral of the story, don't be a catfish and don't get catfish. And as always, peace out and stay lit look y'all wanted longer videos so i made a longer video bro so if you really want more longer videos you better spam this video up bro and share it with a friend but uh yeah anyways if you enjoyed this video you're definitely gonna enjoy my last video where i talk about the harsh truth of glowing up trust me it's a banger video you'll like it make sure to click it if you haven't already it's only at 200 views and there's 2,000 of you so hey check it out but uh yeah as always peace out and stay lit